Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I would like to show you an example of a synergistic hero combination. First, please take a look at these images. This is a typical example of the synergy that can be achieved when two or three heroes work together to enhance each other's good points and compensate for each other's weaknesses. Heroes in combat can increase each other's attack and defense by activating skill or number one artifact. Taking the ODH, Orion, Dorian, Helios, in the upper right corner of the screen as an example, the blue arrows indicate mutual complementation related to recovery of health and the red arrows indicate mutual complementation related to attack. Helios has the second highest magic attack power of all 55 heroes, but unfortunately does not have magic penetration status. When Orion activates the first artifact, he can grant Helios magic penetration for 9 seconds. Since Orion is a type of hero with very fast skill activation, Helios is also given the magic penetration status at all times during the battle, which is the main attraction of ODH. I'll explain why ODH can be a bit of a subtle team up. I have been saying synergy, 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 but is ODH really synergizing? In fact, Helios number one artifact is armor and Dorian's number one artifact is physical attack, so if we evaluate ODH based on attack alone, it is not a high synergy. This is the weakness of ODH, and if Helios and Dorian's number one artifact was magic attack or magic penetration, this ODH would probably be the best magic attack team in Hero Wars. However, even with the current ODH, it has enough fighting power to be a third force in the Grand Arena, so if I were to dare to give it a score, it would be about 70 points. Now, as for ODH, I can give full marks without reservation for the vampirism that Dorian has granted to Orion and Helios. By the way, Dorian's vampirism is the fourth skill, so it has nothing to do with the artifact. When considering hero combinations that create synergy in Hero Wars, we need to carefully determine whether they are derived from skills or number one artifacts. Some of the combinations in this image may be unfamiliar to you, so I encourage you to examine them for yourself. Let's talk about some recent Hero Wars trends. When devising a strong team composition, it is common to approach team composition from the aspect of skill and artifact synergy. However, in recent Hero Wars, it has become popular to combine heroes with counter abilities to form teams that can handle a wide range of opponents. In layman's terms, it's an all-around type of teaming. It means a team composition that combines heroes such as Sebastian, Celeste, Isaac, Dante, and Anvari to counterpunch against a particular hero. The image shown here is the defense team used by the top arena ranking team on server 11 at this time. As you can see, since Isaac was implemented in the game, his twin brothers, Lars and Krista, have rarely appeared at the top of the arena rankings. However, some people use the combination of Nebula and Jet that appears in the first image I showed you. I don't seem to have the teaming you are using. Well, if my main team Astaroth, Kark, Kai, Jurgen, and Faceless become a little stronger, I think the day will come when they will appear in the top 10 in the arena ranking. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.